Okay, everybody. I figured I would bring you this DIY only different. This is my scarecrow hat, right? And I'm going to try and make one for Halloween. So, um, let me show you what we need for it and we'll get started. Okay, everybody. All right, to start off, I got this, <coughs> excuse me, um, I believe it's a six inch wreath uh, form from um, Joann's a very long time ago. So that's what we're going to be using. It's very smaller than the one you get, but I'm sure the one that you get from the Dollar Tree will work. So anyway, um, I have already made up my bundles, but what we're going to use is we are going to use this grip stuff from the Dollar Tree, right? And, um, of course, for my scarecrow, I used the light tan or brown. Um, we're going to use black for Halloween. So I cut these. Actually, just to be, I cut them seven inches. Right, I doubled it over, cut them seven inches, and then I cut those seven inches in half. So whatever that is. So, but this is what I came out with. Right, just these squares, right? And um, to put hold them together, I cut um, black, um, yeah, Chanel stems in half. And you'll also need a zip tie because I need two yards of this grip cut like this and I need one left hole for the top and we'll also need some construction or some uh, poster board right to form the hat that's what I've used as a core of the hat but we'll get to that in a few minutes so let's make these bundles let me show you how we've done this okay I just simply took one square, right, and literally just grabbed it and just wrinkled it up. Tried to find the middle as much as possible by kind of folding it over and seeing if my ends matched, right? And if they did, right, then I just kind of just pinch and twist and you get this, right? It doesn't look like much now, but when we get it on the wreath, it will. All right, so again, just hold it and just gather it, right? Just gather it in the middle. Fold it over, see if they match. If they don't, just kind of scooch it over, right? See if they match. Hold and twist. So, so you got a bunch of these, and I did two right things of this just like this and I had about that much left over at it. okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the top two rings right here and we're going to put one on each side pull it to the back pull it tight make sure it's in the middle and twist now, you can either roll these down like I do. I just roll them down, right? Push them to one side so that they look like this. Or you can twist them and trim them off. I just like mine to where they don't make sure they don't come off. And then slide this over. We're going to do one section at a time. This one only has three, right? And I, on my other one, I think I put nine bundles in each one. But I'll do this one, and then I'll let you know. Okay, everybody, change of space, but I finished up putting the bundles on my six inch wreath, and there are 10 bundles in between each or in each section. <coughs> Sorry, and I had one left over, and I basically just looked where I could stick it in between and just put it in there. So one of them has 11 and the other ones have 10 and this is the way it looks so um here is the hardest part i think is i 
played around with white um, poster board to make what looks to be a top of a hat. So some of it that will fit mainly in. And then I just glued it. But looks like I got a big ball of glue right there. And really, okay, there it goes. So anyway, and I just glued it up to where it will stay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, poke it through the bottom, and just slide that down. There it is. It'll sit nicely. And, you know, um, basically, you know, like I said, there ain't, I mean, there ain't, it ain't going nowhere. Right? So we're going to take this. Let me get it open. So, what I plan on doing is taking this, <coughs> making sure that my ends are on the inside, and then just scrunching it up, right? And I told you you were going to need one um, zip tie. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take it all the way down to the... Um, frame and I'm going to try and go ahead and pull and just work it down pull some of it down in there right and I am going to attach this to this crossbar right here with my zip tie so let's get this under the zip tie or the crossbar with the zip tie under the crossbar. Oh yeah, these you have to watch. All right, around my my mesh here, my grip, and through here. All right, and then just get it as tight as you can, and then just cut your zip tie close and my paper has come out so I'm going to reset it okay see For some reason it is not wanting to stay okay this is what I did I took glue right and I went around where my hat goes next to the frame and I tried to do that on both sides of the frame. Not getting any of my mesh or my grip of course, but Letting that dry so that it kind of grips a hold of it, at least while you're working with it, fiddling around with it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to hold permanently, but while you're flipping it around, trying to weave this thing around, you want it to kind of um, hold. So what I did is I also brought out some things that I might want to use on my hat. I had this door, this extra door hanger, and it came with this on it, right? And I just took it off, right? I, um, because when you take it off, you have to really kind of glue it back down because these are wrapped around it. So I thought maybe this might hang off the top. I don't know, but, um, some of the spider web on it, and of course, the flowers that I already showed you which are up here waiting for me to need them so but okay what we're gonna do yeah is basically like I said making sure that your your ends mine are right here are inside right you want to pull this down and loosely 
wrap your hat. You know, making sure, watching your ends because you don't really care for them to show. But you want to loosely wrap your hat so that the um, uh, paper doesn't show through. So. Showing. Come on. We want both of you to fold the same way. And then when you get to the top. Basically, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be folding it over the top of itself, right? But you don't want it to show because you want some of it to hang off, you know, like this. So when you get to the, to the end of it, This is the thing I got from my craft room. I uh, heard about it off of uh, Michelle Smith of Michelle Smith Creations. She uh, uses one so that she doesn't burn her fingers as much. And I thought, yes, I've got the little finger things too. But um, for one, this is easier to grab most of the time. And... Uh, Normally it's right, you know, even easier, and sometimes it gets into places that your finger can't get into. Just that little corner right there. So, all right. I noticed that I let go of this. So, I am going to tuck. And glue. Oh, no, I thought I was going to tuck and glue. Ends are showing there, and wherever you think you need to tuck it and glue it, you know, feel free to do that. You know, pull it to the back and kind of tuck and until you get what you want. But you don't want it to be too tight because if you do, that it don't look like a wrinkled, you know, hat. But.
Yeah, I'm just pulling out the ruffles of my hat here. So, alright, there we go. This is the whole little hat here, right? So now it's just decorating it any way you want. What I thought I might do was, if I have them, go ahead and, oops, don't go nowhere. Um, I guess this needs to come off. always ends up at the bottom. I don't understand that. All right. So what we might do is just take these kind of like we did with my uh, witch's hat, my, my big one, and just kind of poke these in here, there we go. Right, and then I don't even stop to think about what might be my front and back, I guess. on here yeah hmm. let's see I wanted was just to hold this together like that So now what I need is some glue and to hold <sighs> nothing like waiting for glue to dry, you know. Seems like that's a lot of crafting is waiting for glue to dry or paint to dry. Because if you don't wait, you're going to be sorry when it falls off. So. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up with the flowers. I'm just going to glue them in and then um, I will come back. Okay, everybody. I glued them kind of upwards, right? 
in the pattern because I didn't tone it to go all the way around and kind of hid the brim. So I just put a couple down here with these little spricks things. And then the other sprick is up here with the other two. So, and then I got the bells that hang off, right? So this is what I got with the six inch wreath and all the shelf liner grip. But, um, so there's this one that I've done for more Halloween theme. And then I showed this one at the beginning of my thing. This one here is, is my fall one, right? So um, I could have taken the leaves up, but I didn't because it was more of a you know scarecrow type. And I just didn't think it needed it. But here's one with it just around the bottom. And then the one that goes up the hat type, right? Um, I'm sure you could do this for Christmas and make it Santa's hat with the white and the red, if you can find it, or a red mesh and the white grip uh, to make it the Santa hat or an elf hat and make it two different colors of even mesh. Uh, maybe I can, if you guys are interested in seeing that, maybe I can get that done. Because I know I have the red and green stuff in back there. And all I would need to do is look for a 6 inch wreath, or, or wreath form. So let me know if you're interested in it. And we'll see what we can do. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this um, fall Halloween, you know, decor. And if you haven't already, I ask that, you know, that maybe you consider you know, hitting that subscribe button and coming and being a part of our YouTube family. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you that continue to return every time and or every other time or any time and watch my videos. Um, I appreciate everybody, whether you are a subscriber or not. You come if you view the channel, if you view a, a one video or not the other video, whatever. It, you know, if you enjoy it, watch it. If you don't, it's no big deal. All right, everybody. Right? Keep your chin up. Stay positive. Right? Think outside your box and help where you can. A little goes a long ways. And from my family to yours, we send our hugs, our love, and our prayers. Everybody, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.